everyone today it's gonna be a shorter video since I'm working from home so I just have to go from kindergarten home but that might be better anyway because my internet connection at home is much slower than at work so <coughs> excuse me still <coughs> fighting a little bit with the weather drizzle outside no well I said the internet connection at home is much slower so a shorter video will be appreciated because you will have it before lunchtime that way Champions League, match year 3, part 1 is what we're gonna talk about today, what I'm gonna talk about today, I hope you will share what you saw. Uh, I actually got to see a lot yesterday, uh, thanks to being able to work at home today. Thank you construction workers in my office. Um, I actually started, and it was also my family, we were visiting friends, so yeah. I could watch the first half of eBay against uh, Valencia, so young boys against Valencia. Um, I was thinking first about Ike against Bayern, but then I thought, oh, I think I want to uh, see eBay for once, since they're friendly with Lusk. And also I didn't expect anything but Bayern a little bit getting a scrappy victory against Ike. Uh, which they got, I mean, 2 0 victory, two chances taken uh, in the second half very quickly, and uh, that was the game. I mean, uh, no one expected anything else from them. Uh, and I think I chose the better game. Uh, eBay and Valencia was an open game uh, with eBay having, and I say eBay, not young boys, because that's how, how the Swiss call it. Uh, having actually most of the time the initiative. Um, but Valencia being, of course, a very seasoned team in a way, although they're not doing that well in La Liga. Um, but they were always dangerous on the counter-attack. And so when Valencia took the, early, uh, took the lead in that around midway uh, first half, it was not that it, um, was, I mean, it was the first shot on goal, but um, they have been threatening before at eBay the same thing. It was kind of a uh, match, uh, even terms, with the lead, Valencia got a little bit more self-assured and eBay was struggling, however, I didn't see most of the second half, uh, but when I saw the highlights, eBay then took the initiative again, um, had two chances and then got a penalty, um, very well deserved penalty, made it 1-1 was pressing for the win, I saw the last 10-10 minutes and it was an incredibly open game. Both teams going for the win, neither one got them. Uh, closest was eBay uh, with a header that was uh, pushed to the side by the goalkeeper uh, to the post, jumping back. That was that. So yeah, eBay and Valencia got the 1-1, a result that helps neither. Um, really but keeps them both in contention because Juventus took care of business in Old Trafford, uh, getting the early lead through Dybala, uh, wonderfully played uh, attack, and then Dybala has more or less a free shot because he could escape his marker. Uh, from what I could gather, Juventus controlled the game more. That was actually a game that I, wanted, I, wa I really wanted to see, but uh, the zone was not broadcasting it because they, the uh, Sky had the first pick yesterday and they can pick one game and doesn't choose all the others but it was not the worst thing but yeah Juventus controlled the game I saw Pogba had a big uh, chance to equalize I think he hit the post at the back of the goalkeeper and then out uh, but for most of the time Juventus had control of the game only towards the end of the second half uh, Manchester United was a little bit showing that I, I actually did a home so Juventus is pretty at top of that group uh, the other game that I saw almost completely was Ajax against Benfica. I was going back and forth between other games. Shall I watch Real Madrid struggle or Roma? And I said, nah, this is a, a game on level terms of two teams where this is a really important matchup. Uh, whoever gets the win sits very well, is in good position to uh, make it out of the group stage. And the game itself, it was really meeting on level terms, high intensity. I mean, there was running, 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 fighting. Was not, it was not always pretty to watch, but there were chances. Ajax had more of the initiative, 
but Benfica almost looks super dangerous on the counter, yeah, that's they did. So um, I think Ajax had two or three chances in the first half, Benfica also uh, had, I think, two clear chances, one where I said, thank you for missing that one, I was in Ajax's camp, of course. Um, and the second half, again, Ajax starting out with the initiative, but uh, Benfica hitting the dangerous counter. It was also a scrappy game, and there were many little fouls, and it was good that they had a referee that actually remained calm and did not uh, get uh, influenced by the great atmosphere. I mean, what the Amsterdam was put on with the flag waving all that, it was a great atmosphere right there and then. So, yeah. And right at the moment when I thought, oh yeah, nil-nil, I saw a good game, but no goals. And then Ajax in stoppage time makes the winner from a long range. I mean, uh, they should have had the winner potentially earlier. Uh, but then Benfica also had chances. It was really a level level contest. Yes, Ajax had had initiative, but you could see that Benfica is a really good team. I think if it would have ended a draw, this would have been a more deserved result. Of course, I'm happy that Ajax won this one, because they now have like Bayern 7. Uh, points, 5-1 goals, and yeah, we're gonna see how it uh, pans out. Ajax sits very well on top of this group, uh, together with Bayern. The other groups, let's go, Real Madrid was struggling against Wilson, uh, they got a tool, uh, two goal lead, hit the post by Ramos, but Pilsen also had clear chances. Uh, the goal by Marcelo was taken wonderfully. And yeah, Ben Pilsen got the, cut the lead to 2 1, and it was shaky again. Roma, on the other hand, uh, Tesca, Tesca had no real chance. Checo scoring twice, and El Sharavi making it 3 0. You see what scheduling does if Roma plays in Madrid now instead of on the first match day. I think Roma probably could have uh, nine points and be already qualified. So yeah, so that group now, um, Real Madrid and Roma both with six points, Cesca with four, and I think this group could well be decided uh, in the next round if both uh, favorites take care of their business. And then the last group had probably the game of the night between uh, Hoffenheim and Lyon which was basically the perfect 3-3 uh, three, three draw, meaning they are all lead changes. Uh, Lyon got a 1-0 from a horrible defending mistakes. Hoffenheim turned the game around with Kramaric. Then Lyon turned it around again. Again, a horrible defending by Hoffenheim. They actually undid most of their good work through poor defending. Uh, Hoffenheim probably would have deserved the victory in that one. Uh, but they got the late equalizer, which was more than deserved. Uh, it was also interesting to see Lyon in orange against blue. I thought they could have well played in white. Uh, speaking of weird jersey matchups, I also thought that um, Ajax playing in black at home and Benfica in red. Didn't like that one. I don't remember if Benfica had a black away jersey. I thought they did, so I don't quite get it. But maybe it was the better contrast, whatever. And our last game, Manchester City took care of business in Kharkiv against Shakhtar Donetsk. I think it was in Kharkiv. I'm, uh, I'm sure they cannot play in Donetsk yet. So yeah, uh, it was a 3-0 victory. Silva, I think, uh, dominating. And it could have been much higher. Uh, they lost last year there. Now Guardiola made sure that they're not going to do that again. So yeah, that group is actually a quite tight one. I mean, Manchester City is now top of the group with six points. Lyon, five, but hasn't lost yet. And the other ones have two points each. Uh, that was surprisingly tight, um, so looking forward to seeing that. I also think that in the Juventus group, Juventus is gone, but I'm not sure if it will be that easy for Manchester United to make it out of the group. Remains to be seen. Let me know which games you watched, um, whether you agree with my quick assessment here, um, especially about the two games that, that I watched. That I think were overall really, really good games. I totally enjoyed those watching those. They were bets, better games than anything I watched over the weekend. Uh, gotta say that and I'm gonna look forward to tonight Give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye